Welcome back, one and all, to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time we went on a little shopping trip. I need to shave and get changed. Hello, Sadie. Next time we run an errand together, remind me to pack more bullets. Come on, Arthur. Don't pretend that wasn't kind of fun. <laughs> I guess. Okay, I need to change because might be good to shave too so I don't look so damn scraggly there he is the man who saved my hide not once but twice what you want Micah nothing just saying thank you brother I can't call you brother can't I I think I like you even less when you're friendly you're the first person ever told me that. Mm. Yeah, this is the kitchen. Mine is around here somewhere. Domino. Frickin'. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, folks is wondering what's happened to you. Nothing, Miss Grimshaw. Nothing is right. That's the point. That's the point. Work, Mr. Morgan. Folk need feeding. I never took you for the lazy type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's my fucking tent? I think this is it over here. Uh, Tilly, I don't want to play dominoes right now. Yep, there's the shaving scent. Mew is around here somewhere. Oh, I have to... Okay. Go around clean shaven. There we go, that'll do. Oh, hey, Kieran. You behaving there, O'Driscoll? I'm not no Driscoll, sir. Sure. <laughs> How are the horses? Okay. Uh, I mean, well, but they could be better. I'm worried. They, they, they've been through a lot. If I had some burdock root, just a couple, uh, I could knock up a poultice, could keep them well, and cure some ailments. Burdock root? Yes, yes, that, 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 that works best. Okay. If I see some, I'll bring it you. Okay, cool. Well, thank you, sir. <clears throat> Let's go figure out what I'm going to do this time. <laughs> well, well, what is it? Blucha. You're Morgan. Okay. Man named Morgan is riding a Morgan. Okay. That's a beautiful revolver. Thank you. 
Oh, he's right here. The fan's running. That's great. That's wonderful, even. Fishing. Let's do some fishing before dealing with Vanderlyn. And there's a dock. There's Mr. A... Morgan. Mr. Morgan. I've noticed you've stopped paying into the box. I've been sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Hmm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Uh, can't this wait? Well, so sorry to move on. I have no bait. Oh wait, no. I have a bit of bait. If only fishing went this fast in real life. Well, sometimes it does. Ah, come here. That's just insulting. Uh, I'm gonna let you off. Let's try something new. Here we go. Tease him a little. Broke the line. Okay, that's fine. He got off. Okay, let's go talk to Dutch. Contribute to the box a little. They quit bitching. That, I'm gonna be, I gotta sell all that to the fence. I'll give a little bit of money. There, $10. The New South. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. 
We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that. Oh, but come Lord. On. Okay, Dutch. It's nice out. It is. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of thick. How are you? We can fish right off the pier. I quite enjoy fishing sometimes. It's kind of nice to be by the river. Cold drink in hand, not a worry in the world. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good as long Always green crushing and bubble burst. Okay, let's go fish. Come on then. Let's follow the old timer. Just fish here. There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Makes sense. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want every... Let's actually take a look at where I am. Way south of Valentine. It's near Rhodes. Simple Everyone town. on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a clue of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, don't this cause is trouble in the for town. You, Jose. Got you. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Didn't Nothing plan on it. Nothing would give pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Sounds like a good time. All you need to go with that is a cold drink, maybe some sunflower seeds. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot. Bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> well, well, look who it is. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite 
Some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray, this is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Oh, they're just taking Come all the fun on, out hurry. of killing. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster. Come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Callahan. Mr. Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I, I understand. Get it. I'm yeah. doing my best. Uh, looks like you son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Look at you two fellas all coming up. Ha <laughs> ha. Idiot. Now get after the others. Come on. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Yep. <laughs> get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. down. Hello? Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. For what now? Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. 
You're the boss. <laughs> that was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. So it's the Hatfields and the Coys. place you got here. Do not use weapons across troubling roads. Yeah, I'll try not to. Easy. Here really, I will. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. Of course it is. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, I've train already, station, of course. I've already oh, bought boy, stuff from the gunsmith. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Chop, oh, chop. Don't charming, just leave him charming there for the whole town to see. Just bring him here. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, I'll pretend to appreciate that. <laughs> Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. You make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone, sadly, to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Uh, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rooms. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. The edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out, rebel gold, marrying cousins, or not marrying. Arthur, that's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard. About bounty. Oh, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents. Some super agents. <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is. But I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these brave weights. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Okay. Quite a fishing trip. No kidding. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? 
I still want to go fishing. Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? Kinda like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. But I'm gonna... Excuse me, I'm gonna end this one here. 